Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to get started on our uh, open titanium pit mine out in the wasteland there. Uh, we're going to do a couple things around the base first, though. Uh, so I want to actually move this. I'm trying to get more of my uh, workstations in range of the inventory polling mechanism. Again, all temporary until we can actually get our place set up, uh, which I am definitely going to do. It's just, you know, one thing at a time kind of thing. Um, now what we're going to do is, let's see, you're, you're making stuff, right? Oh, wow, yeah, you're totally making stuff. All right, let's throw that, take that out of there. Um, and we'll put that stuff in there for now. What I want to do is I want to move the... Oh, actually, you know what we could do? Why don't we... Is this a pick up a bull thingamadoodle? No, it's a destroyable thingamadoodle. All right, let's get rid of this. Well, do I want to get rid of that, though? I kind of like the furniture out in this hallway. Yeah, I don't think I do. Um, I'm trying to get this moved closer so we can actually use it. Because I want to look at possibly making a mining uh, uh, dump truck thingy. Yeah, one of those. Um, Alright. We can put it in here. There. Now it's within polling range. Cool. Okay, so a mining cart. We have a actually everything we need to make this except for iron. And I'm actually in the process of making iron plating because I am uh, going to also make a bunch of... The plan is to make a bunch of iron spike traps to put around the perimeter of our pit mine. And I'm going to need... Whoa. I'm going to need a lot more iron to do that uh, in addition to, you know, what's currently being made here. But we should have enough iron from this little batch to actually make that cart. <clears throat> Now, one thing I'm not sure about is, is the cart, um, does the cart have more inventory space in it than, say, like the 4x4? Well, not just inventory space, but also weight capacity. I guess that's another important consideration in this mod. Uh, by the way, I am aware, um, because you guys told me in the comments, that uh, Subquake has come out with... I think it's an experimental update. I don't think it's like a, a released update yet. And uh, I was told, I have not confirmed this myself yet, I haven't seen it, that um, he fixed the ladder exploit. So I don't know if that means he fixed it to where you can't uh, go up a ladder when you're encumbered, or if it means he fixed it so you can't go sideways on the ladders. If it's the ladder, see what I did there? <laughs> if it's the latter part of that, not a big deal. I might consider then um, installing the update uh, if I can safely do so without screwing up my save. That's the other thing, too, of course. Uh, but if he fixed it to where you can't even go straight up a ladder encumbered, then I'm not going to do it. Because our, our whole design here is dependent upon me being able to walk up this ladder with a full load of stuff. Um, so, yeah, that, that would basically break my base if... Uh, if that's what it fixes. So if you guys happen to know what that means, um, let me know in the comments if you would, please. So here again, just for, for clarity, if he fixed it to where I can't come up this ladder with a full load of stuff encumbered, then there, you know, then that will completely break our, our Deshong base here. And I will not install the update. So I need to know that for sure before I will, I will consider, um, you know, the update. Okay. So anyway, Let's see. Why am I encumbered? Oh, because I'm carrying a, all the the firewood from here. Let's put this stuff back in here. Put a little bit of wood in there. Can we make any good food? Well, besides... Oh, we can make pumpkin cheesecake. We have one pumpkin. Do I have pumpkin seed? I do. What the hell, man? Let's make a pumpkin cheesecake. Why not? Actually, we could also make the bread. Um. Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. Let's make this and save it 
for when we uh, go sell our stuff because we get that's right we get the bartering discount if we're if we have the buff from that that's good that's cool that's cool man that's cool okay so let's uh take another drink of this um all right so iron yeah we need iron that is what we need so I'm going to take and put this in here for now. We have 120 research data. What is the next thing? I think I, I think it was the chili dog that we wanted to research next, right? Yeah. And what is the research points requirement for that? 200, so we don't have enough. Okay, so we'll just have to wait on that. All right, so we have a fully repaired jack camera. We've got some gasoline, and um, I think we need to go get some more iron. So let's do it. Water pump is completely full. Uh, so let's put some water in here. And then we will take and put the full bottles in here uh, for taking back up to the base. This is our new water system, man. It's kind of cool. All right, so that takes care of that. Uh, let's head on down into the mine. I'm still, I don't know. I can't, couldn't tell if I was still walking on those ladders or not. <laughs> Okay, so kind of what I've been doing in this area is I started digging up in through here. Uh, is this titanium or is it lead? Because I ran into some lead. Yeah, that's lead. Okay. Um, yeah, so I started kind of digging a pathway up here to get to this to, to this upper um iron in particular but of course we've been going through some nitrate and stuff like that too so yeah i'm going to uh just do some mining for a bit uh to get some more iron in particular and um once we have a nice supply of that i'll bring you guys back and we will uh, uh proceed we'll, with making the mining cart and then going out and getting started on that pit mine so i'll see you guys in a bit let's take a coffee too for the buff Ooh, that gets into uh, ruined stone there, which actually means that this this is all the higher this mine's probably going to go. Then, huh? Interesting. Okay. Um. I might cause an enormous collapse and make a huge pit, which is not a not a bad thing actually, because we might do something with that in the future. I'm not underneath uh, my base; I'm kind of over in this area. So, <laughs> excuse me if that did happen. It shouldn't affect the Deshong Tower. Power systems go. Power systems go. Sounds like we got a screamy outside. Okay, Roberta's maxed out. I am just about maxed out too. Gonna get just a little bit more here. Is that titanium? No, that's lead. All right, that's about all the more uh, I'm gonna get right now because otherwise I won't be able to move very well. Okay, let's see if we can find our way back out of here. And we'll head back up and get this iron smelting. My senses have picked up something.
Everybody dead? Think so. Did anybody drop anything? Don't think so. All right, let's. Uh, I'm gonna put a can of gasoline and all this, all these tokens in here. All right, let's grab the. <coughs> excuse me, uh, the water out of here. All right, is water, murky water, in the plastic bottle used for anything other than... Oh, yeah, it's used for lots of things. Okay. So I don't want to turn this all into fresh water. Let's let's do about half of them. Well, no, let's just do them all because I got more cooking up down below. That needs eight minutes of burn time. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and make some more of you. And we'll move all this stuff over. I probably better put the real heavy stuff in here, or I'm not going to be able to move. All right, just do that. You keep going on stone powder. And you keep going on large stone stone powder. Put all this stuff in here. I uh, also want to make... Turn you into coal dust. Or, yeah, coal dust. Uh, okay. So, now we need to just do a whole bunch of smelting. Uh, with the iron that we got so let's get that going and then uh, while we're waiting on that we'll make our mining cart so let's put some wood there and wait a minute where is there. how may i assist you let's grab all you your stuff Okay, we have 463 iron ore in there. Why aren't you giving me the option to make... Oh, because you have a brick mold in. Gotcha. Okay. Um, do I have another ingot mold? That's a glass plating mold. I don't? Really? Okay. I don't think they're that expensive to make. Ingot mold. Craft it in campfire. We need some clay and some sand. Clay and sand. There we go. Nine hundred and seven. Oh, I know why. Because it was in my locked inventory slot. That's why it wasn't registering. Uh, put that in there. Okay gonna say man I thought I just got a whole crap ton of iron all right now now what the, what's the problem now iron ingot Scott all right sometimes you have to get back in and then back out again okay so let's make 225 in this one and that's gonna require seven and a half minutes of burn time whoops that's too many Okay. Let's pull these ingots out and then that's going to require five minutes. We need one more. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So we got that going. Put all those ingots in there and that other brick mold. Get a couple things rearranged in my inventory here. All right, we got tons of nitrate. We got lots of sulfur. We got plenty of coal powder. Maybe we should get some more gunpowder cooking up. So many things to do, man. All right, you're not in range either. You know what we could do with this? Let's um, let's move it closer to in in the other room there.
this sh should make it in range. Yep, it is. Okay. Let's make a metric crap ton of gunpowder. Um, oh my goodness. Yeah, we're going to need more burn time than that. That's okay. Well, maybe I shouldn't use make that much. I mean, <laughs> it's going to use up all of our resources. How about if we make a thousand? Which I guess translates to 5,000. Okay. That will last us quite a while for sure. Okay, so um, now we should have everything we need to make the mining cart. So let's do it. Craft. That's going to take 10 minutes. Dad, burn it. 10 minutes? Okay. Tell you what, I'm going to cut the camera here. And I'm going to get the rest of this iron smelt that I'm going to make a bunch of iron uh, spike traps. <clears throat> Wait for the mining cart to finish, and then I'll bring you guys back at that point, and we'll head on out. All right, guys, we are back. Uh, the mining cart is finished. Can I even carry this? Yeah, barely. Okay. Uh, and I now have the iron spikes cooking up in here, but uh, they're going to take 23 minutes. Then I queued up some ammunition materials there. I had a whole bunch of scrap wood, so I decided to, to make a bunch of presso logs there. And I think that's all we're... And we're still making the gunpowder. So I think that's all we're working on uh, for now. So let's head on out there. Oh, we're going to need... Woo! We're going to need probably quite a bit of fuel for the mining cart, too. So let's grab, say, like four more of those. And uh, we'll, we'll kind of just do like a little bit of a survey, maybe get started scratching the surface, quite literally. Um, Master, we are not alone. Yeah, we created some heat here. Is it just you? I'm not hearing the pitter-patter of little zombie footsteps, so I think we're in the clear. Um, is this full again? Not quite. So, yeah, let's just go do as much as we can for our remaining time in this episode. Oh, uh, one of you guys suggested that I dig a tunnel all the way out to the mine. I, got, I thought about that, but I don't think I will because if I do, it's going to take a long time, A... It's going to take a lot of resources, as in fuel and repairs, B. And it's going to... I'm going to have to make it large enough in order to get the mining cart through it. So it just doesn't really make a whole lot of sense based upon uh, those reasons to do that. So if if our mining area was a little closer to the base, I'd consider, but it's it's pretty far away for that. So I don't think we'll, we'll do that. So, um, yeah, let's just leave all that stuff in there. I just very, very briefly messed with the mining cart at the very end of my uh, my first Undead Legacy series, but I didn't really use it per se. Okay. High voltage. Does this... Wait, does this work off electricity? No, it takes gas. Okay. Okay, so it's completely filled up. It took five cans of gas. Wow. Okay, that doesn't surprise me, though. And it's got... Okay, so it's got mod slots, which is good. Uh, how much storage space does it have? It has 6,000 units of storage. Just out of curiosity... Uh, well, I mean, it has 6,000 uh, weight capacity. What do you have? 600 okay <laughs> yeah major difference so i think the you know the advantage of the mining cart is is its weight capacity now uh it does have some mods uh four mod slots to be precise let me i'm gonna run back upstairs and i just want to see what i might have or potentially could make to put in there i'm assuming it can take any any vehicle mod 
um, you know, like, it, you know, increase the storage, maybe increase the speed or the fuel economy, that sort of thing. So let's just see what we have or could possibly make for that. So I don't think the thing goes real fast, if I recall correctly. All right, so uh, I think I have all my mods in here. So we're looking for vehicle mods. I don't have any vehicle mods in there at all. Would I have maybe put, put them in here? No. Okay. How about... Let's go to the mechanics table. Okay, that's a vehicle cargo extension. So, this is the reserve fuel tank. That's the supercharger. So, it looks like we could make the supercharger. We would just need to make some gears and pipes. Um, we can make the fuel saver, which also requires pipes. Shock absorbers. Improves vehicle suspension, allowing for transporting more cargo. Oh, okay. So that would also increase our capacity, too, then. Um, this one, I guess we haven't learned this. Vehicle reserve fuel tank. Okay, let's make the fuel... S excuse me, Roberta. Hello, Roberta. Come on, over here. There you go. I'm going to cancel all that stuff for the moment. Might as well take these with us because we need to make some pipes. So how many pipes can I make? 220. We're going to need, I'm going to need pipe uh, bombs too. So let's just make a hundred of these. And then we'll turn the rest of these into a few more traps. And I can't walk. So let's go back to queuing these back up. I think I was making like a hundred of these and the rest of the lead was going towards buckshot. Um, since we're here, um, let's make, let's refill those. Oh, you know what? We have all the gasoline that I put in that in here. Okay, good. So that filled three of them back up. Well, partially, anyway. And then we still have two more that we should be able to... Um, actually, you know what? I think we're good on gunpowder for now. We have so much gunpowder. It's not even funny. Yeah, we got one, two, three, four, almost 45,000, um, no, 100, sorry, 4,500 gunpowder. So that'll last for a while. And we also have the means to make more. Hey, you know what? We're hungry and thirsty. Let's have a gumbo stew. Why not? Tasty. Yum. Actually, yuck. I don't like gumbo in real life. Or more specifically, I don't like okra in real life. But in this game, it's the apocalypse. You eat good food, even if you don't like it. Let's grab, throw back a couple more of these just to top off our hydration because it's getting low. We will get out to that mine today, you guys, uh, in this episode, I promise. We probably won't have a, much time to do anything once we get there, but at least we'll get there. It'll happen, man. It will happen. Okay, I don't think we need to take quite this much fuel with us, so let's put a couple of the big tanks back. All right, now we want to make the fuel saver. What do we need to make the fuel tank thingy? Uh, oh, we can't make, that's right. We can't make the schematics for, uh, for these kinds of things. We have to find them. I forgot about that. Okay. Well, then we're not making that, uh, but we can make the fuel saver. So let's do that. And do I already have a cargo extension? I thought I had an extra one of those. I'm 
not seen it in there. Nope, we must have it in all of our vehicles. Uh, meaning the bicycle and the mini bike. Um, no, there is a isn't any mods at all in this. Okay. No mods in there either. Whoops. Nope. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. We must have put everything into the motorcycle. So I don't want to take anything out of the motorcycle because we're still up. Yeah, that's still obviously our main transportation. Uh, so let's make one of those and off-road lights. I don't think we need that. What was the other thing? Um, oh, the shock absorbers. So we need, we need some more uh, pipes for that. Okay, so that'll allow us to put three mods on the mining cart. And then um, we could do off-road lights, but nah, I don't think so. I was, uh, uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll get in the mining cart, we'll use it, we'll turn the lights on, and if I don't think the lights are bright enough, we'll make some off-road lights for it. Um, otherwise... I'd, I want to save that slot for this, yeah, for the supercharger when the time comes for us to... Wait a minute. Oh, no. We can make the supercharger. We just can't make the the uh, the fuel tank extension. Uh, we're going to need quite a bit of... Well, I'll tell you what. Let's just see how fast it goes first before we do that. Um, so we're just waiting on this. I, I think it goes pretty slow if I remember right. So if that's the case... Hopefully we can put a supercharger on it. But I'm not going to be able to do that, I don't think, right now, because what do we need again? No, actually, we have. I have steel. Wait, do I have steel? I don't remember now. Or did I turn it all into... No, that's not what I want to do. Yeah, I must have turned it all into plating. Darn it. Okay. Okay, so there's the cargo extension, and we just have to wait for the shock absorbers. Um, I th think we need steel to make gears. Oh, man, that freaked me out. I'm going, is it Horde Knight? It can't possibly be Horde Knight. It's not Horde Knight till 98. It's just a it's just a, a thunderstorm. <laughs> I was like freaking me out. I'm going, whoa! I haven't even repaired the Horde base yet. We should probably do that pretty quickly. Because I could actually see myself forgetting that it's Horde Knight. It's happened before. <laughs> Crap, that scared me. I'm going, no way! All right. So, yeah, we're just waiting for this, and then we'll head out. Shock absorbers are done. Let's go. We're in good shape food and water-wise. Let's do this. Okay, so... So the cargo is 6,000. Now it's 6,100. 6150. Wow, that <laughs> didn't really add a whole lot, did it? A uh, little little underwhelming there, but whatever. Um okay. It's um yeah, it's a little slow, so I think we definitely want to put the turbo mod on it. You know what though? Actually it's not that bad. Considering this is a hauling vehicle, it's kind of fun, actually. 
Yeah, it, it's kind of slow. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna want to uh, definitely put the turbo mod on it. But it's like I said, it's designed for hauling. I mean, we're gonna be able to bring back a massive amount of ore in this thing. Nice horn. This is top speed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely thinking turbo mod, guys. Okay, so from here, now, let's look at a map again. We just want to make a beeline for the mine. So, anything that's in our path is going to get destroyed. All right, we had a screamer call in some company, and we have some bears around here, too. We have to be careful. Oh, he's right there. That bear is right there. There's also a cop right there, too. We've got an Arlene over here. critical so let's just take a one of these get some zombie bear giblets all right so let's grab this I'll see if we can pull this group over here So we have a Ronnie McDonnie over here. Correction, we had a Ronnie McDonnie. No, we still have one. <laughs> now we had one. <laughs> All right, does that get rid of the horde that the screamer called in? I, I'll have to patch this later. I think so. You know what, though? We probably should take uh, this with us. So we can make a a slow getaway if needed. And also, I'm gonna grab these um uh, Oh right. I don't have to uh My senses have picked up something. I don't have to break these, I can just pick them. That's interesting. I think I've, hmm, I don't know if I've ever done this BOI. It's obviously something down there. Anyway, okay. We are getting distracted. We have another Zeker bear there. He's probably going to close on us before we can completely take him out, so. 
He's just a little too close for my liking. Nice. Okay, let's um let's bring the cart out here. But I'm gonna turn it around so I can make a quick getaway if we get another screamer horde come in. Well, I don't know if it's gonna be a quick getaway, but it'll be an attempted getaway. <laughs> okay, that's good enough. All right, let's resume. Okay, so we don't have a lot of slots in here. We just have a lot of weight capacity, so I can't, like, fill it up with light stuff. Uh, but it looks like we're almost to our destination anyways. Uh, oh, no, we're not. That's just a different thingy. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, we, we're out of time. Uh, in fact, we're, <laughs> we've already gone too far. So uh, I promised we'd go get out to the mine. So just to literally keep my promise... We'll drive out there, but I'm going to uh, clear the rest of this stuff out of the way. Oh, for goodness sakes. Get out of there. Oh, nice. Uh, but the mine is right here. In case you guys didn't see that episode where I found this mine. Look at how many titanium nodes there are. Um, so the plan is that we're going to... I've got a bad feeling about this. Come here, puppy. Uh, the plan is that we're going to basically create an open pit mine uh, in this area. And then I'm going to line the edges of the mine with iron spikes. So, you know, that way we have... Um, some protection when the zombos come come in and yeah and then we'll have a nice big open pit mine for titanium and i'm sure we're going to run into iron and other resources too so this this thing could really produce some serious uh, resources for us and then so we'll finish cutting the path through here we have the mining cart now so we'll be able to haul just a metric butt ton of, of ore back to to the base in fact i don't know it might even be worth our while to Oops. To bring uh, some forges out here. Well, so much for getting a sneaky sneak. I bring some forges out here and do the smelting out here. Uh, we'll we'll still bring the ingots themselves back to the base, um, you know, for processing there. But but we could do the forging out here too. I'll have to I'll have to think about that. We'll see. Um, it it kind of makes sense for for us to do that. I think. So yeah. With that being said, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.